Next, Gile Hamilton theorem. The statement of Gile Hamilton theorem is see, every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equations. That is the statement of Gile Hamilton theorem. For example, suppose A equals 0, 1, 2, 3. What will be the characteristic equation? Lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 3 equal to 0. The statement says every square matrix satisfies its own Cartesian equation. That means replace lambda by A. So A squared minus 4A plus 3 equal to 0. Is it right? No. Why? So A squared is a matrix and 4A is also a matrix, but 3 is not a matrix. So instead of uh, writing 3, you write 3i. So that is the meaning. So every square matrix satisfies its own Cartesian equation. You re replace lambda by A and replace constant with unit matrix. That to, whenever the matrix satisfies its own Cartesian equation, then we say that that matrix satisfies Gile Hamilton theorem. And now we have to prove this statement, right? Suppose A is given, what is A squared? So A squared equal A into A, right? What is A squared now? So 1 plus 0, 1. Then 2 plus 6, 7, sorry. So 1 plus 0, then 2 plus 6, then 0 plus 0, then 0 plus 9. This is equal to 1, 8, 0, 9. This is a square. Then 4a. So 4 into a given matrix is equal to 4, 8, 0, 12. Now I substitute this, then 3i. So 3i equal to 3, 0, 0, 3. Then 2 plus 3. I substitute these values in this equation. I take the left hand side. So a square minus 4a plus 3i equals value of a square. So 1809 minus 4a. 48012 plus 3i. So 3003. Simplify it. So 1 minus 4 plus 3. Then 8 minus 8 plus 0. Then 0 minus 0 plus 0. Then 9 minus 12 plus 3. This is equal to 0, 0, 0. So that means this given matrix A satisfies its own Cartesian equation. Therefore, this matrix satisfies Gile Hamilton theorem. So it is a 2 by 2 matrix. Now we go for a 3 by 3 matrix. Next, verify Gile Hamilton theorem for the matrix A equal to 1, 3, 7, 4, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 1. First, you find out the Cartesian equation. So, given matrix is of order 3, the so Cartesian equation is what? So, lambda cube minus P lambda square plus Q lambda minus R equal to 0. What is P? Sum of the leading diagonal elements. So, 1 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 4, then Q equal to sum of the leading diagonal elements, sorry, sum of the minors of the leading diagonal elements. So, 2, 3, 2, 1, plus 1, 7, 1, 1, plus 1, 3, 4, 2. So, 2 minus 6, plus 1 minus 7, plus 2 minus 12. We simplify it. So when I get uh, minus 4, 
minus 3 minus 10 minus 8 so minus 20 then r equals so determinant of a so determinant of a is nothing but what 1 3 7 4 2 3 and 1 2 1 so simplify it so 1 and 2 so 2 minus 6 minus 3 and 2 4 minus 3 plus 7 and 2 8 minus 2 and get minus 4 minus 3 then uh, plus 42 so it's 36 so we get lambda cube minus 4 lambda square minus 20 lambda minus 35 okay. we expand it so 1 and 2 2 minus 6 minus 3 into 4 minus 3 plus 7 into 8 minus 2 so minus 4 minus 3 minus 7 plus 42 so 35 so minus 35 so lambda q minus 4 lambda square minus 20 lambda minus 35 equal to 0 so I have to prove that verify Gilly Hamilton so that means so every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation you replace lambda by a so a cube minus 4 a square minus 20 a minus 35 i equal to 0 so you find out a square a cube and 20 a so a square equals a into a so it is nothing but so 137 4, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1 into 137, 4, 2, 3. So, A square. What is A square? You multiply it. So, A square equals so 20, 23, 23, 15, 22, 37, 10, 9, 14. Next, A cube. So, A cube equals A square into A a cube equals a squared into a the value of a squared is 1 so 10 23 23 and 15 22 37 10 9 14 into a so 1 3 7 4 2 3 1 2 1 you multiply these two matrices you may get the value of a cube. So 135, 152, 232, 140, 163, 208, 60, 76 and triple 1. Then we substitute the A cube equals 135, 152, 232, 140, 163, 208, 60, 76 and triple one you substitute these values a, a squared a cube in this left hand side what is left hand side so a cube minus 4 a squared minus 20 a minus 35 i equal a cube is 135 152 232 and 140 and 163, 208, 60, 76 and 2 1 and minus 4 a square. So minus 4 into a square. Value of a square. So 20, 23, 23. So 15, 22, 37 and 10, 9, 14. Then minus 20 a a is 137 423 1 2 1 minus 35 i minus 35 into 100 1 simplify this we get 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 equal so that means 
a square matrix satisfies its own Cartesian equation. Therefore, it satisfies Gale-Hamilton theorem. What will be the application of this Gale-Hamilton theorem? So it can be used to find out the higher powers of A and the inverse of a matrix. How can you find out the inverse of a matrix and the higher powers of a matrix? We will see, see this example, the Cartesian equation, and it satisfies the Gale-Hamilton theorem. You may get a cube minus 4a squared minus 20a minus 35i equal to 0. So you pre-multiplied by a inverse so you may get so a squared minus 4a minus 20i minus 35i inverse equal 0. So 35a inverse equal so a squared minus 4a minus 20i, then a inverse equal to 1 by 35 into a squared minus 4a minus 20i. So using this gile hamilton theorem, we can find out the inverse. What is the usual method for finding inverse? So a inverse equal, you apply this formula, 1 by determinant of a into adjoint of A. So here not necessary for applying this formula. So you simply pre-multiplying A inverse of this equation, you may get the value of A inverse. And higher powers of A, suppose I have to find out 8 to the power 4. So 8 to the power 4 means 1. A into A into A into A. No point for applying that method is simply using this equation. So pre-multiplied by a on both sides, you may get so a power 4 minus 4a cube minus 20a square minus 35i a equal 0. So a power 4 equal so 4a cube plus 20a square plus 35i. You replace the values of a cube, a square, and a, you may get the value of a power 4. So that is the application of this Gile-Hamilton theorem. So we can use this theorem for finding inverse and higher powers of A. The next problem, use Gile-Hamilton theorem to find the value of the matrix given by A power 8 minus 5 A to the power 7 plus 7 A power 6 minus 3 A power 5 plus A power 4 minus 5 A cube plus 8 A square minus 2 A plus I if the matrix is given. The first, I have to use the gile hamilton theorem, so for that we need a Cartesian equation. What is Cartesian equation? So given matrix is of order 3 by 3, so the shortcut method, use the Cartesian equation, lambda q minus p lambda squared plus q lambda minus r equal to 0. So p equal, to, so 2 plus 1 plus 2, which is equal to, 5, then Q equal, then now uh, determinant, so 1, 0, 1, 2, plus 2, 1, 1, 2, plus 2, 1, 0, 1, so mm -hmm. 2 plus 4 minus 1 plus 2, so it gives, so 6, 8, 7, then R equal, so determinant, so 2, 1, 1, so 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2. So this is equal, to, so 2 into, so 2 minus 1 into 0 plus 1 into minus 1. So 4 minus 1 equal to 3. So therefore, the Cartes equation. So lambda cube minus p is 5, so 5 lambda square, q is 7, so plus 7 lambda, then minus 3, equal to 0. So this is the Cartesian equation of the given matrix. What will be the statement of gile hamilton theorem? So every square matrix satisfies its own Cartesian equation, so therefore, so a cube minus 5 square, then plus 
seven a minus three i equals zero. So I have to find out the value of this expression. For that, we need the value of a power a, d to the power seven, a to the power six, a to the power five like that. See, you don't want to find out a power of a using this expression. So simply, I have to simplify this expression and apply the result. We get the answer. So what is that? Simply, simplify it. Okay, you take this expression. So here you take uh, a to the power five outside. Will be the remaining one. A cube minus five a square plus seven a minus three i, right? Then plus a power four. Here also you take a a outside, so a cube minus five a squared plus eight a minus two i and plus i, right? So using this result, you take it as equation number one. You applying this result in this equation, what will get the value of this expression zero by using one. So zero plus a into a cube minus five a squared plus this 80, I can write it as 7a plus a. Am I right? Then, minus 2i. So, I can write minus 2i as, so minus 3i plus i. Right? So, plus i. Now, again, you simplify it. So, a into, so a cube minus 5a squared plus 7a minus 3i, then plus a plus i, right, and plus i. Again, you apply this result, again, using 1, again, it becomes 0, so a into 0 plus a plus i, then plus i, right. Now, you multiply a inside, so a squared plus a i, a plus i. So, instead of finding the value of this expression, which is equal to, a squared plus a plus i. Now you know the value of a and you can find out a squared. So what is a squared now? So a squared equal a into a. So this is equal to 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 2 into 2 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 2. You multiply these two matrices, you may get the answer. 544010445 right and then you are substituting these values in this expression now it is equal to now it is equal to a squared plus a plus i now you replace the values of a squared a The value of a squared is uh, 544 four, and 0, 1, 0, 4, 4, 5, and plus a. What is a? So 2, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, plus i is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So you simplify it, you may get, so 8, 5, 5, 0, 3, 0, 5, 5, 8, right? So that is the answer for a given expression.